Hello and welcome back for a new video. We are back on the Ark and I'm actually on Genesis today. I am also naked and I've got my dead body with me. I don't know what happened, but I basically, I wasn't dead. Spawned in, didn't say I was dead, and then I just spawned naked and my dead body was outside, chilling. So I don't know what happened here and I don't know why all the fiend troughs have, uh, Apparently, all the feeding troughs are showing their um, visible areas, even though I had turned them all off last time I was on them. I don't know if anyone else gets this on Genesis, but every time I come on this map, it's always like this, and I turn them off every time! Why is it doing this to me? Anyway, I'm going to grab my stuff off my body. How did I die then? I had full food, full water, and I'm still dead. I'm going to stop talking there for a second, because I haven't even said what I'm doing. Basically, I'm showing off my... Mutated Argies, I've actually been, I know I haven't made a Genesis video in a long time, but uh, I've been busy on it, I just uh, haven't been showing it off. But I have been breeding some Argies, and they are all around here. You can see I've got loads of cool colours. You can't see, because I've got all the fiend draws showing the visible area! Why is it doing this to me? Anyway. I'm going to take a sec to uh, turn all these fiend traps off, I don't know why they've done this, so what I'd do is do this. And have to turn them back on and off. We don't want them to show visible area. All I see is green. Green, green, green. Right, maybe I should just delete some fiend traps around here, because this is frustrating. Oh right, yeah, so I've got loads of colours of Argies there. Oh look! It's working now, and my body... We don't want that green either! 120 roll me off my own body, I'm a beast! Right, yeah, so what time is it on the game? 11pm. Crap the claws will be out in an hour, I'll tell you that. Yeah, so it is from Winter Wonderland 5, that's why I'm actually uh, playing the nice music. Again, it's the Christmas spirit over here, you know? But yeah, these are all my artists I've been breeding. So basically, I've got about 25 health mutations into them and. 25 melee mutations as well. So this, these are the stats combined now. So I got 7k health and 690 damage. So they're pretty hefty. The stamina, the stamina is not great on them, but obviously that's not um not big issue. I'm, I'm actually trying. I'm trying to use these guys. For Basically, I'll tell you guys this. I've been trying to do the crystal Isles why am I freezing to death? I've got fortitude for days! Apparently it's not good enough. Anyway. Yeah, we've been trying to do the Crystal Isles boss fight on Alpha. Tried about four times now and actually lost every single thing. Every time. Basically, it's gone really well and then near the end when he's got about 10 HP, he just one-shots me off my, uh... My u or T-Rex or whatever I'm riding and I die. Instantly. And it doesn't even, it's, it's, it's just nothing t you can do, like, I can't even see that he's attacking me, sometimes he's not even near me, and then I just die out of nowhere, but, uh, I'm hoping to bring that video out soon, hopefully we will be able to do it this time. I did do it with some RG before, but they weren't half as good as this, this they were, like, mid-mutated, you know, like this kind of, like, 3300 and then 384, I think that's what we, uh, started with, to be honest, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, um... Oh yes, he's out! Quick! Get to the skiff! Get to the skiff! I mean, quick! Get to the skiff! This is making me dizzy! Right, I've never actually found crapped claws on Genesis, so I'm gonna have a, a right way of a time here. So let's... What the hell's going on? Just a backflip with the skiff! Right, I don't know where he's gonna be. Where is he? Like, does he just... I'm guessing he is only going to be one. Oh, there he is! There he is, guys! The crafter claws in the air! I'll get my spy ass out. Check him out. I don't think he's in the snow, to be honest. Can we... What is going on? Hopefully I got fuel in this phone. I didn't even look. There he is! Look at him go! Right. We're going to find him. Looks like he... What biome is that? Is that the volcanic biome? I think that's the volcanic biome. We're gonna have to go there, aren't we? Right. Oh shit. I don't know the buttons anymore! To control the skip all you down! There we go. Right, I'm teleporting to the volcanic. Whoa! 
Whoa! Volcanic biome. We're off. We're gonna find Crafter Claws. We're gonna get some loot to see what he can give us. I wonder if Gacha Claws spawns on here too. Take me away! See ya! I'm so glad on Genesis Part 2 they're not doing the teleport thing. Why are you there? Slight issue. Uh, I had to go back to base because my skiff won't even be on the floor with me. Apparently it's in the air, so I had to go and get some Grappinux. Where's Crafter Claws? Am I in the right place? That's the question. Oh, I'm not in the right place! What biome is that? I think that's the bog, isn't it? Oh, no! I thought I was going to the right biome. Bog it is. I don't know which part I've gone to. If I get crap toed when I get there, I'm not going to be happy about it. I've got no food either. Yeah, I'm so glad on Genesis Part 2 they're not doing the teleportation thing. Like, no. It was a good idea, but I don't like it. It's annoying. I could have got crap to claws loot ages ago, but I'm fanning around trying to get out the right biome. What's going on? I'm not in the right biome! What biome is that? Oh, it's Luna, isn't it? Oh. Third time lucky again in the right biome. Just want some presents. That's all I want. It's just some presents. Oh. Guys, we got a present! Present! I s oh, no. His presents are on the other side of the wall. I hate this map. It's not working for Winter Wonderland. Where is that then? Ocean Biome? Has he dropped any in here? Please tell me he's dropped some. That's game over, I think. No presents for me. Alright, that was a waste of my time. I've just teleported about eight times and not even found a present, so... That was great. This will probably be better on another map, but uh, yeah. I'm currently on Genesis. I had to go and find some presents! All right, back to the RG breeding right now. So, I've got a couple of breeder saps. So I'm just going to cry upon these guys in formation, should we say? And we're going to get some baby RGs. Hopefully, we get some cool colours out of them. Yellow wing tips on the RGs, I reckon. Be a cool look. I don't know, the orange is cool, but I quite like the yellow, you know? Now, basically, what I like to do with these um, mutations is I work on the two stats separately the health and the damage. Once I'm at the point where I want them, I'll end up combining those two stats together and then during the whole process I would have got um, loads of colour mutations and stuff that I didn't want but I kept them anyway. I like, obviously these are my colours over here. And obviously they're just like random colours that have come out of, with random other mutations and stuff. You don't want to use them at the time but they're worth saving because you can obviously breed the colours in. Once you have the stats then whatever colours you want then. You just have to keep breeding them together until you get the colours you want with the older ones and the stats you want obviously. So yeah, this is what I've done with all these breeders. i got all the same levels pretty much. There's a change in a level with these because this has probably like got like a other stat mutation on that yeah, I didn't want to use at the time but it's obviously just taken it. Don't even know what it is, don't care either but uh, that's a male, I don't want you. He's kind of a boring colour isn't he? So I'm just grabbing my females, grabbing all my females. I even got a Christmas coloured uh, RG here. Look at that. Nice and Christmassy right there. So I'll throw her into the mix. <laughs> I think I'm quite happy with these colours. Like this one's one of my favourites as well. Just all green look. Ooh, lovely. It's the best thing about breeding all these random colours together. It's kind of like a box of chocolates. You just don't know what you're going to get. I'm just going to lob these down. All here amongst the males. And they're going to have them some fun in a second. So, right, which one shall we make first? I think we want the male breeder, to, uh, the yellow tips, to have him some fun with the females. I think that's the one we want first, isn't it? So, to be fair, that one's kind of a boring colour, but, uh, oh well. Oh, that's a male, we don't want that. Female. And... Females again. So yeah, these are the ones I'm looking forward to the most. These two here. I'm going to get that red with the yellow tips and this green with the yellow tips. Be pretty nice, I reckon. 
black body. Looks like he's on orange body to be honest, but that's fair enough. I'm off for five days, so I'll be playing plenty of games, you know? I just want to complete the boss fight. Because, like, I've pretty much done everything on Crystal Isles, I feel like. And it would be nice just to get that done, because I'll probably be annoyed for ages. Anyway, we've got some eggs here, so I'll just throw these guys down. See what we get out of this. I'm going to try and 100% carry them as well. I think with my breeding rate, so I probably only have to care for them twice, and it would be 100%. So yeah, it's only a few more months until Genesis Part 2, which I'm really looking forward to. I'm going to be throwing out all the content, left, right and centre. Boom! So, I'm really looking forward to that. We might have a cheat of hatch by now. Nope. Oh, seven seconds to go. Seven seconds to go. Not two traps. Throw some more down. Oh, we got a nice green one. Oh, look at that one. Bish! Whoa! That noise scared the shit out of me then. Anyway, I'll keep all these. I didn't want to keep that, guys. Sorry, mate. Sorry. But you just weren't pretty enough, were you? Well, guys, let's go for a walk. They are so slow. I'll do, innit? I'm going to see what we got in here, then. Ooh, there we go. Look at that beauty. Ooh, he's got a green head as well. I might as well keep all these guys. I need them all anyway to... Probably die. Sorry, guys, but it's sad but true. You're all probably going to die because the game doesn't want me to beat the uh, Alpha Crystal Isles boss. And yeah. I will be hopefully bringing out a PvP Primitive Plus service soon at some point, which should be fun. I got a few, got a few people that want to play, so probably just mess around a bit on there. All right, so we got our army assembled. Look at that guy; he is beautiful. I really like he's got black feet as well. Look. Did they all have black feet? I don't even know. Well, they kind of do, don't they? Sometimes they do get mutation on their feet, but I haven't really got many of them. But yeah, the blacks are better colour anyway. Won't be able to get one to ride them this episode, unfortunately, but um, that's what the boss fight is for. We're going to be showcasing them in the boss fight. That's their first show-in, should we say. And I really hope we can do it, because it'll be another video I won't be uploading at wise. I might even post clips of the failed attempts just to show you guys, but um, I don't know if anyone's really had that issue where they keep dying in the arena. It's really annoying because that's the... F How many times did I say it was? Maybe four times that we've done that. I've died every single time. None of the times, just me. Every time! Take him down to 10% HP and then it's going well. And then out of nowhere you just die off your team instantly. All I know is it's annoying, and I think I need about 15 RGs for the boss fight. I feel like I might go all RGs with just a few Rexes, like two, maybe three Rexes. For when he lands, you know, the Rexes are really good at chomping, in they? So, three Rexes, 15 RGs for the... Because I'm, I'm under the impression that when he gets to 10% HP, he doesn't tend to land. I don't think he lands at all, so... She, should we say? I don't mean she lands at all, sorry. But um, we're going to see about that soon enough, aren't we? You are ugly, so see ya! So I'm joined at the end of the video with my little army of baby RGs. I've always liked the RG. I've always thought it was a really good... Um, even before they nerfed the speed on them. They used to be really cool when they uh, could fly fast, but uh, they do a lot of damage. They, they're quite tanky as well. It's quite easy to make their saddles. I like them for taming stuff with. If you guys haven't seen my Giga taming video on Crystal Isles, the spawn locations for the Giga, it's a really good one to watch because I think like I don't really see many people using the RGs to do that, and I think it, I think they're a really good flyer to use. To you know, like a lot of people just run into their trap and bait them in that way, but I I quite like the RG because it's like the perfect speed, perfect to just about outrun him, but like you can obviously good saddle you can take a few bites off him anyway and then just turn around and close him into the trap but anyway that's enough rambling 
No, it wasn't as exciting as usual. I just wanted to really show off my my RG army. And we're ready for the boss fight, I think. Hopefully. And we won't die instantly. And hopefully you guys might actually get to see this one. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please feel free to check out the channel if you did. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Goodbye. <laughs>